Okay, well, these are the questions that the students have just done now. So the classwork is going to go recap it with them. Just make sure we're all sending from the same page. Okay. Right, okay, 6 root 10. Now what I did initially when I had an idea first, we said 6 root 10 is the same as saying 6 times by root 10. Put the time signs back in. 5 root 2 means 5 times by root 2. What I did next was get the numbers together, so 6 times by 5 and then root 10 times by root 2. So what I've done now, I've rearranged the order of multiplication. Why? Because we can do, and it helps us do the question. So 6 times by 5 will give us? 30. 30. Root 10 times by root 2 will give us? Root 10 root 20. Because oh. we can put them back together again, yeah? 10 times by 2. Now in root 20, do we have any square numbers? Yeah, 4 and 5. 4 and 5. So that gives you root 4. Time by root 5. Yeah. <laughs> now root 4 will give us 2. two. And root 5 will stay as? So and 30 times by 2 will give us? Root 5. Okay, so that's the question all fully explained. Let's have a look at the next question. We need to multiply out these double brackets. So here's the first set of multiplication followed by the second set of multiplication. So let's do that one first. So we have first of all 3 times by 7, which is the first one, and then 3 times by minus root 3. What do we have next? We have plus root 2 times by 7, and then plus root 2 times by minus times by minus root 3. Let's work it out now. Okay, 3 times by 7 is? 21. And 3 times by minus root 3 is? 3. Minus 3 root 3. Mm. Yeah? And we have plus root 2 times by 7 will give us? Plus? 7 root 2. And then we have a minus root 3 times by plus root 2 will give us what? Minus root? Six. And that is the answer to that question. It doesn't go any further because there's nothing else we can simplify. So sometimes it stops. Yeah, that's it. We can't do anything else there. There's nothing there that can be simplified further. Next question. Root 3 plus 2. Right, let's have a look at this one. What? Do you get uh, any marks at all for simplifying it? Like, I mean, if you don't simplify it all the way. No, we have simplified each question all the way. That's it. If you oh, if you stop. Yeah. You'll, get, you'll get partial marks. Right, right. So the square means multiplying it out uh, by itself, so let's do that now. So we multiply it like normal brackets using FOIL. Mr. Hani, are you looking at these questions? Are you copying them down? Are you writing down the solutions? Okay. Yeah, you've done it? Yeah. Is it correct? Yeah. Have you marked it? Yeah. Okay, mark it then, it's correct. Yeah. Good. So we have root 3 time by root 3. And then we have root 3 time by plus 2. What do we have next? We have uh, plus 2 times by root 3. Mr. Harun, are you focusing on the questions? I don't think you got this one. Yes, yes, I did. Look, I'll give you the answer. 7 plus 4, um, route 3, where we've got root 3. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, okay. Let me guess that. What are we seeing? Okay. So root 3 times by root 3 will give us what? 3. 3. Not sure. Root 3 times by 2 will give us? Plus 2 root 3. Three. And then add another? Two root three. That's right. Plus and four. 2 times by 2 is? Plus 1. Okay, we got a little bit left of the lesson, folks. We've got to do one last part of rationalizing denominators now. So, what about what's the 3 plus the 4? 7. And what's 2 root 3 add 2 root 3? 4 root 3. Beautiful. <coughs> That's lovely. As always. Well done, folks.